Imagine you're standing at the edge of the Linux world, curious, maybe excited, maybe a little nervous, and you've heard one name again and again as the perfect entry point. Or even a polished daily driver for people coming from Windows or Mac OS. That name is Zorin OS. But then you visit the official website, and suddenly you're faced with a decision that feels bigger than it should be. Oh. Zorin OS Core, which is free, and Zorin OS Pro, which is paid. Same operating system, same brand, but clearly not the same experience. So the real question becomes simple yet deeply personal. Which edition is actually right for you? To answer that, we need to step back and understand what Zorin OS is trying to do in the first place. Zorin OS is not just another Linux distribution competing on who can be the most customizable or the most minimal. Its entire philosophy revolves around accessibility, familiarity, and polish. It's designed to make Linux feel comfortable, especially for people who are switching from Windows or Mac OS. While still being powerful enough for experienced users who want stability and productivity, that mission alone already sets the tone for how Core and Pro differ. Because the split isn't about locking essential functionality behind a paywall. Instead, it's about how much convenience, visual polish, and flexibility you want out of the box. Start with Zorin OS Core, because this is where most people begin. Core is the free edition, and it's the one most reviewers and tutorials talk about. When you install Zorin OS Core, you get a modern, clean, and surprisingly refined desktop environment based on GNOME, but heavily customized by the Zorin team. It doesn't feel like stock GNOME. Menus are familiar, the layout makes sense, and the overall experience is intentionally designed to feel welcoming. If you're coming from Windows 10 or Windows 11, the default layout will feel instantly usable. You'll know where to click, how to open apps, and how to manage your files without having to relearn everything from scratch. Core includes all the essentials you'd expect from a modern operating system. You get a full web browser, office software, media players, system utilities, and access to thousands of applications through the software store. You can browse the web, watch videos, edit documents, attend online meetings, and even do light creative work without installing anything extra. For many users, especially those who just want a reliable everyday system, Core already feels complete. This is an important point because it means choosing Core is not a compromise in terms of basic usability. Now let's talk about performance and stability because this is another area where Core shines. Zorin OS Core is built on a long-term support base, which means it prioritizes stability over cutting-edge features. Updates are predictable, crashes are rare, and hardware compatibility is generally excellent. If you have an older laptop or a mid-range desktop, Core runs smoothly, without feeling heavy. It's not a minimal distribution, but it's optimized enough that you won't feel like your system is struggling just to keep the desktop alive, for students, office workers, and home users. This level of reliability is often more important than having the latest experimental features. But here's where the story starts to change. As good as Core is, it represents only one slice of what Zorin OS can be. This is where Zorin OS Pro enters the conversation. And this is where the which edition is right for you question really becomes meaningful. Zorin OS Pro is not just core with a price tag. It's a more complete, more flexible, and more premium experience that's designed for users who want more control over how their system looks and behaves without spending hours tweaking settings or installing third-party tools. One of the biggest differences between core and pro is desktop layouts. In core, you get a limited set of layouts that are designed to cover the most common use cases. They're well thought out, and for many people, they're enough. But Pro unlocks the full power of Zorin appearance, which lets you switch between a wide variety of layouts with a single click. You can make your desktop look and behave like Windows 11, Windows 10, Windows 7, Mac OS, Ubuntu, or even a more traditional Linux setup. This isn't just about visuals, it's about workflow. The placement of panels, menus, taskbars, and system trays affects how quickly you can work and how comfortable you feel using your computer every day. For someone who is switching from Mac OS, being able to instantly switch to a Mac OS-like layout can make the transition almost painless. For a former Windows user, having a familiar taskbar and start menu layout reduces friction and frustration. For experienced Linux users, the ability to experiment with different workflows without manually configuring everything is incredibly valuable.
Pro essentially removes the barrier between this system works and this system feels perfect. Another major difference lies in the pre-installed software. Zorin OS Core comes with a solid set of essential applications. But Pro goes a step further by including a curated selection of premium quality apps right out of the box. This often includes more advanced creative tools, productivity software, and utilities that many users would end up installing anyway. The idea here is convenience. Instead of spending your first few hours searching for apps, comparing alternatives, and configuring settings, Pro gives you a ready-to-go environment that feels complete from the moment you log in. This is especially appealing to professionals and content creators. If you're someone who edits photos, creates graphics, records, audio, or manages complex projects, having these tools pre-installed and integrated can save you a significant amount of time. It also reduces the cognitive load of setting up a new system. You're not constantly thinking, what do I need to install next? You can just start working. Then there's the matter of support and long-term value. When you buy Zorin OS Pro, you're not just paying for extra features. You're also supporting the development of the project itself. Zorin OS is developed by a relatively small team, and Pro Sales help fund ongoing improvements, security updates, and new features. In return, Pro users often receive priority support and additional resources that can make troubleshooting and customization easier. For users who rely on their system for work or study, knowing that there's a team behind the product who can help if something goes wrong adds a layer of confidence that's hard to put a price on. Security and privacy are another area where the distinction, while subtle, matters. Both Core and Pro follow the same privacy-respecting philosophy. Zorin OS does not track you, does not bombard you with ads, and does not force you into an ecosystem you didn't choose. However, Pro often includes additional tools and configurations that enhance security and usability, especially for less technical users. This means fewer things to misconfigure and fewer opportunities to accidentally weaken your system's security. Now let's talk about the emotional side of this decision. Because operating systems are not just tools, they're environments we live in for hours every day. A Soren OS Pro is designed to feel premium. The attention to detail, the cohesive design, and the extra polish create an experience that feels deliberate and refined. This might sound superficial, but it matters. When your system looks good and feels intuitive, you're more likely to enjoy using it. You're less likely to feel frustrated or fatigued by small annoyances. Over time, that enjoyment adds up. That said, none of this means that Core is inferior. In fact, for many users, Core is the smarter choice. If you're new to Linux and you want to explore without spending any money, Core is an excellent starting point. It lets you experience Zorin OS, understand its philosophy, and decide whether it fits your needs. You can use Core for months or even years without feeling like you're missing something essential. And if at some point you decide you want more layouts, more convenience, or more polish, upgrading to Pro is always an option. There's also a strong argument for Core if you enjoy customizing your system manually. Linux has a vast ecosystem of themes, extensions, and tools, and some users genuinely enjoy tweaking every detail themselves. If that's you, Core gives you a solid foundation without locking you into a particular vision. You can install extensions, change themes, and build your own workflow piece by piece. In that sense, Core offers freedom through simplicity. On the other hand, Pro is ideal for users who value their time more than the process of customization itself. If you want a system that looks and works exactly the way you want from day one, Pro delivers that experience. This is especially true for people who are switching from another operating system and don't want to spend weeks adjusting. For them, Pro isn't about luxury. It's about reducing friction and making the transition as smooth as possible. Let's also consider hardware scenarios. If you're installing Zorin OS on a family computer, a work machine, or a system that multiple people will use, Ow. Pro can be a great choice. The additional layouts and tools make it easier to adapt the system to different users' preferences without complex setup. For example, one user might prefer a Windows-like layout, while another prefers a Mac-o-style dock. Pro makes it easy to switch between these without breaking anything. Budget is, of course, another factor. Zorin OS Pro is a one-time purchase, not a subscription. You pay once, and you get the features, updates, and support for that release. Compared to the cost of proprietary operating systems or even some commercial software, it's relatively affordable. 
But if you're on a tight budget or simply don't want to spend money on an operating system, Core exists precisely for you. Zorin team has been very clear that Core is not a demo or a crippled version. It's a full operating system in its own right. Another interesting point to consider is learning and growth. For beginners, starting with Core can be a valuable learning experience. You get to understand how Linux works, how software management functions, and how the desktop environment can be customized. Later, if you move to Pro, you'll appreciate its features even more, because you'll understand what they save you from having to do manually. In that sense, Core can be a stepping stone, while Pro feels like a reward for knowing what you want. Ultimately, the decision between Zorin OS Core and Pro comes down to priorities. If your priority is zero cost, solid performance, and a polished but straightforward experience, Core is more than enough. It's reliable, user-friendly, and capable of handling everyday tasks with ease. If your priority is flexibility, premium polish, convenience, and supporting the developers behind a project you believe in, Pro is the better choice. It takes everything that makes Zorin OS great and elevates it into a more complete and customizable environment. So which edition is right for you? If you're curious, cautious, or simply practical, start with Core. There's no risk, no pressure, and no major downside. If you already know you value a refined experience, if you want your system to adapt to you instead of the other way around, or if you see your operating system as a long-term investment rather than just a tool, Pro will likely feel worth every cent. In the end, both editions share the same heart and philosophy. The difference lies not in what you can do, but in how effortlessly you can do it, and how comfortable you feel along the way.